Hi YouTube! Um, I thought I'd just record a video um, celebrating one year on hormones. And if you're confused, um, it's because I came out as trans in December 2015 and started hormone replacement therapy in March of 2016. March 11th, in fact. Today. Yay! Um, so why record a YouTube video? That's a great question, person who didn't ask a question. Um, I think YouTube is a really interesting platform for trans people because it allows us to tell our stories with our own voices and it lets you see us and hear us and maybe even get to know us. And besides, if it's good enough for Gigi Gorgeous, it's good enough for me. So. I guess I'll go into my story a little bit, just to clue you in on who I am. Uh, my name is Amber, and I'm about 34 years old for another month. <sighs> a lot of trans people's stories get boiled down to, I knew I was a boy or I knew I was a girl when I was four years old. And my first really strong um, thought or feeling or emotion in that I need to be an ex was about age nine, third grade or so. Um, yeah, it was a very interesting time. My, I was doing some sort of a project on uh, our classroom's Apple 2GS, Apple Works, you know, the old um, black and black and green phosphorus screen you'll never ever forget if you grew up with one of those. Um, but I was doing something else at the same time. So I was working on my project and then also doing something else. I don't remember what it was, but my teacher came over to me and was like, you know, the ability to multitask is a really female brain trait. And I was just like, I was one, I was dumbstruck that females have brain traits. I thought, men and women were basically the same, minus, you know, functions and reproduction. But on the other hand, there was this woman who saw the girl in me and could, for whatever reason, it was apparent and I felt like a million bucks. This, this other person that I really respected was suddenly like, I see you. I see who you are for just a moment and I mean I was I was nine it was 1992 I had no idea I grew up in a conservative town in the middle of the Midwest and I had no idea what it meant to be trans as the years went by I thought I was just crazy um, I would just be committed my the end of my life would be in an insane asylum um, my mental self-image became a girl in it went from basically being nothing being a blank slate to being a girl in um sophomore year of high school so about age what 13 14 14 yeah ish um and for no reason for no reason that i could understand why when i would close my eyes and do something that the me I saw in my head was a girl. I had no idea. She was tall, uh, she had dark hair, not purple hair though, but she had dark hair, and she was me. I mean, she moved with my movements, and she thought with my thoughts, and I never understood why um, until much, much later. So I ended up my... You would think that the puzzle pieces would start, you know, coming together pretty quickly at this point, but I ended up um, being asked out and then marrying uh, my high school sweetheart, and um, we got married in 2004, and I was still obviously presenting as male, um, still had the girl in my head, still really desperately wanted to be a girl, wanted to be a woman. Um, couldn't understand why. And then finally, it, everything came to a head in um, November 
of 2015 with my sister, um, eight months pregnant, and all of us trucking out to her place out in Colorado. Um, thanks, Windows. I forgot to mute that. All of us trucking out to Colorado um, to spend Thanksgiving there, and I was miserable. I was a complete wreck. I have always wanted to be pregnant. I've always wanted to carry and give birth to my own children. And seeing my sister doing it, doing what I've always wanted to do, just, it drove me crazy. It just drove me crazy because I knew I could never do it. It would never be for me. Um, not long after that, I was playing a video game to relieve some of my gender dysphoria, what I now know is gender dysphoria. Um, and I was overcome by the image of a woman in a gorgeous black velvet ball gown um, in front of me. She, her image took over my vision and accompanied with it was a profound feeling of correctness. Um, and I knew the same way that you know, like you're talking to a friend, even if you can't see their face, like in a dream, th that same feeling was there, that this girl was me and that I needed to be this girl. And the image and the feeling was so powerful that I dropped my keyboard out of my lap and said out loud, oh my God, I think I'm trans. And I started doing some research and started putting together some of the puzzle pieces in my life. As with most people, most meaning all uh, people, we don't come with instruction manuals. Um, we have to kind of figure out who we are on our own as we go through life. Um, and for me, all of these little signs throughout my life, these little tiny indicators that I was not the boy that everyone thought I was, um, added up to me being trans. And I mean, the, the strongest indicator, of course, in all of this was that I desperately, desperately wanted to be female. And I could never, ever, ever figure out why. It was just a thing that I had been dealing with for most of my life. And I thought I was crazy. I thought I had a weird fetish. I thought I was just some kind of strange pervert. Um, but no, it just means that I'm trans. And transition, so far the, the year of hormone therapy, the voice training, the hair removal, it's helped. It really has. The anxiety and the stress that being forced to be male was causing me has started to diminish a lot. Actually, quite a bit. Um, enough to the point where I'm starting to date as myself. And I'm just dating within the trans community because I don't want to do gender 101 with some random guy because Jesus Christ, you guys really need to learn how to deal with trans people. But that's another video. Um, my wife and I filed a divorce or we're going to be filing it very, very soon. But the dating as me has opened so many doors in my mind, doors of acceptance and doors of peace and calm and understanding. I finally get who I am and I understand why I'm here and what I'm doing and who I need to be. Do I wish I'd done it sooner? Absolutely. Um, there's nothing that I regret about transition other than I wish I'd done it 10, 20 years ago. I wish someone had come up to me when I was nine and said, hey, would you rather be a girl? It's okay if you want to say yes. 
my life would have been very, very different. Very, very different. <sighs> so, that's my story. Am I finished with transition? No. I'm in one year. I mean, HRT affects the body through three, four, five years or longer. Um, I'm really just getting started. Uh, along with things like my voice and my face, which I can't stand. Um, and of course, the things that everyone wants to talk about and gossip about with trans people. Um, those are things that cause me a great deal of anxiety and a great deal of pain. And I will take care of them eventually. So, I guess, what am I trying to say? Not really anything. I guess I'm saying hi from one more trans girl on the internet to all of you other people out there, cis and trans, who maybe you just want to gawk at uh, an ugly trans girl, and maybe you just want to try and understand where we come from, but I'm going to start publishing these videos regularly, and we're going to talk about some deep shit because that's what I do. I talk about deep shit. And that gets me into deep shit a lot. But this is my channel, and this is what I'm going to do with it. So, hopefully, here's, here's to one year. I, invisible martini glass. Here's to one year. May the next year, two years, three years, be just as exciting. Thanks for watching.